Hi friends, good evening. Today it is 11th Jan and the time is roughly around 9 o'clock. What a phenomenal day for us. It is uh, nothing but EC my trip which was our peak at 44 yesterday and Gujarat gas which I was telling for last 10 days and we clearly said something is going to happen on or before Friday. It is based on time. It is based on time and uh, we picked up some very good quantity from 530, 540, 550 call and 550 call uh, I gave to my members to buy at 3 rupees 60 paisa. Today it clocked 15. It clocked 15 today and Reliance was the real, real master blaster for today. Let's go and see all that and uh, the number. Uh, last two days there was no video because I, have, I am preparing, I was preparing for my PDF uh, which is going to launch tomorrow most probably. Uh, people are working on it. So <clears throat> that's why there was no video for the last two days. So now let's go and see what we discussed in the last two days. So now, uh, yeah, this is what yesterday we said that something is going to happen in Gujarat gas on Friday because tomorrow it is having six combination and it showed the effect to today. I said zero zero call, 550 call at 3 rupees 60 paisa. So I said buy everything and today morning I clearly said don't exit the position just keep quiet and enjoy the show and uh, this is what we said just keep quiet in Gujarat gas let it run any first target is 529.7 and once it crosses the real move will come. Today exactly it went and touched 529.7 and then it was hovering for some time like this and once it crossed this number it was a master blaster for 545. But I was telling this counter from 469, 469. So once it holds 469 the target is double of 469. This is purely based on a number magic. This is nothing to do with any of the you know, price action or whatever. Nothing to do with any of those. This is purely based on a number game. I will show that number game to you. And then we said the first timing was 1120 to 1125 and the second timing is 120 to 125 to 130. And today morning before itself I clearly said that uh, something happened in the timing today so uh, it is going to be then and I clearly said today uh, this is a premium meeting day so till it is not going above 22 uh, sorry 36 both the call and put will be zero both the call and put will be zero so exactly that is what it done and the number what was the number this was the number of yesterday 21764 and 21762. If it rejects here, if it breaks this number, then it will go down. It's only 2 rupees difference, but this 2 rupees difference will do wonder in stock market. Will do wonder in stock market. Okay, and uh, our EC my trip was uh, day before. Uh, at 44 we picked up uh, I don't know where it was EC my trip I think I need to search EC my trip yeah this was our pick of day before uh, which is on Tuesday we said <clears throat> next Diwali pick will enter at 44 exactly yesterday low was 44 and today it did 20% more or less 20% this was our yesterday's pick okay so now let's go and see the numbers so the numbers was yesterday's numbers was 21720 21764 21762 and this is the monthly number this is the weekly number this is the daily number so now if you go to chart if you go to chart so I marked the number here 21764 21762 exactly that is where the rejection came 
then once it broke below 21720 it is not able to go above that 21720 even for 5 minutes even though people tell that you know expiry belongs to big guys and all that but see how market respects even though it is only 2 rupees difference 2 rupees difference this is how market respect that 2 rupees and again when it comes to timing this is the two timings of today first timing the low is not broken it went up again got rejected at the number then this came none of the candle close to below none of the candle close to below because today something uh, big happened in uh, nifty on a timing perspective because both these both these timing or combo both these timings are combo because this is what i teach in my course why this is combo and clearly it is price time squaring today exactly at that candle see whether any candle closed above that what a beauty even though it is controlled by fii's the big guys see how the timing works here and we are writing this timing in the morning we are writing this timing in the morning and i gave this in telegram also those who finished my timing technique these two are a combo because today is very special today is very special very rarely that happens so exactly it was a combo timing and none of the candle close to below once it broke see the fall because this is the price and time square so once it broke the fall will be like this only the fall will be like this only again it recouped nothing happened exactly went back and rejected here came down and closed here this is how timing works so now let's go for uh, let's go to gujarat gas so the 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 number which i was talking was 469 469 this is my long term number and this is my short term number and when it converged when it converged last two times it was not doing well and this time it converged and the time came into the picture the time came into the picture only this month and that too the time is happening only tomorrow so when the time is nearing all these will happen so very simple if it holds 467 the target is double of 469 when i said this in hpcl nobody believed when i said this in ioc nobody believed it is not based on the chart it is not based on any price action or any of your chart pattern this is beyond everything whether you believe it or not that is not my issue but this is how market works this is how market works two times it went above and came down and again it got rejected at 467 and when the time came day before it started moving and this is because we are talking about this company from december 26th that something big is going to happen in gujarat gas and i am i was writing this uh, in my thing every day i say i mention gas 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 only because of this gas so when the time combines this is what will happen so the target for me if it holds 469 this 67 the target is 469 into 2 do whatever calculation you want to do it and that is the target for gujarat gas so now this is how it moved and if you go to 15 minutes time frame this is our oendum number and the decider number for this month 451 and 445 and the move came exactly on december 6th 7th 8th and on 28th on 29th it touched that number and in 15 minutes till now there is no sell all the candles are green in 15 minutes time frame and this is we call it as a magical candle yesterday a little bit of shake and happened here 
but it recouped everything and this was a phenomenal phenomenal uh, move uh, in gujarat gas and apart from that if you go to reliance this was the master blaster because i was telling this from 2nd of january that you know it's going to be a mercury event and uh, this is how it works and see if you if you go to uh, reliance the reliance gave a buy here at 212451 where you got a genuine buy where you got a genuine buy and uh, maybe if i remove this you will understand so now if i go here then you will see only g buy okay so now the g buy came here and one candle closed above at 2460 started and it gave a fake sell exactly here none of the candle closed to below the sell candle low it means the bottom is done again you need to buy above this candle stop loss below this candle at 242520 then the move started then the move started then the move started again the number came for us the number for this month was 242590 and 2495 and again yesterday it gave a sell but this is this is a fake sell because none of the candle closed to below the sell and from there the move started like this so in 15 minutes time frame from 2440 to 2716 there is no sell in 15 minutes time frame from year to entire stuff this is all fake this is all fake because none of the candle close to below the sell candle low it means it is fake there is there is, you know this is where you need to take a chance today we took a chance in rbl bank we the stop loss was 1 rupee but the stop loss got triggered so we need to take a chance if if it gives it gives phenomenal move otherwise 1 rupee stop loss no problem we will take a hit but this is in 15 minutes time frame it locked like really really mad and uh, this is how it is so anyway the mercury is doing its part from second from 1st of january and uh, yesterday was again uh, the mercury uranus Uh, on ninth, on ninth, Mercury Uranus combination, and the move came like this. Okay, so this is how you need to use it. So again, uh, when it goes to PPT <coughs> for tomorrow, still market is not looking good when it comes to indices. All the numbers are bearish. Again, the major numbers are bearish. once it breaks this number this has to hold this number it has to hold this number again the convergence is more or less happening the convergence is more or less happening so you may be seeing a very big move uh, in nifty future because uh, you know even though uh, you know uh, reliance did very well today but nifty not at all participated and it was a clear clear premium meeting session from the morning but most of the stocks was in fire today and uh, break below this again it's a problem and when it comes to bank nifty again all the numbers are in red so there is no question of going long in this market in indices so as i told you on 26th weekly forecast video i'm talking about december i clearly mentioned one thing if the market makes the top on jan 1st or jan 2nd the bottom will happen on 8th or 9th then there will be a move and the high will happen at 13th or 15th since 13th is holiday it the high will happen on 15th or 16th then from there the correction will be there till 4th february so till now nifty this is for nifty not for bank nifty this is for only nifty till nifty holds the ninth low till nifty holds the ninth low there is no problem but if nifty close below the ninth low then it is called inversion 
So most probably what happens, the next bottom will happen instead of I, the bottom will happen here. On one, one and only if Nifty closes below, a day candle closes below ninth low. For example, tomorrow it is going down like this and again coming back like this and closing above ninth low, then still this is on. If any candle closes below the ninth low, maybe if I go to the chart, I think you will understand better. So now let's go to the chart. I don't know, this is my new system. I seriously don't know how to go to Nifty spot. Just a minute. I am not getting spot, yeah. Oh, no, 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 not this. I'm sorry. No, where, where I went? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is nifty spot. Now if you go here, if you go to one day. So now, as of now, this is ninth low and this is 10th low. So till now, I'm sorry, this is the new system. I'm a little bit, uh, okay, not familiar with this. So now this is ninth low and this is 10th low. But for me, 10th is not important at all. For me, 9th is very important. Even though the 9th and 10th are the combination date, based on the past pattern, based on the past pattern, it says if it holds the 9th low on a closing basis. So now, if you take the horizontal line, which was the low of 9th, and this is the high of 9th. So now this is a tight consolidation which is going on here, tight consolidation going on here and if it holds the ninth low, then the top will happen on 13th or 15th or 16th. Since 13th is holiday, it may happen on 15th or 16th most probably the i of this most probably the i of this is 22203 if it holds ninth low if it is closing below ninth low then the bottom will happen on 15th or 16th it is called inversion But one candle must close below. See, last time also yesterday, it went below but closed above. You need a close below this. This is called confirmation. You need a close below this. If that happens, then the bottom will happen on 15th or 16th of Jan. And this is what we are writing for the last six months here. We are not writing now. We are writing this for the last six months here. You got it or not? If you go to my video, you will be seeing this every day because we predicted this on 11th August that the market will make a first bottom on 26th August, 14th I, again inversion. So whenever the inversion happens, the, the next thing will try to do adjustment to go back to that original cycle and that is what it is happening in nifty that is what it happening in nifty here this was the exact low exact high but the 12th november it should make a low but it should make a low but what happened if you go to nifty on 12th november 12th november i think 12th or what november yeah 12th november so if you go here 12th november Yeah, so it should make a low here, but instead it, it made a high. So 12th is not uh, working, so it is holiday. 
so once it break once once it broke that i of 12th where it make a low then the move will be like this till the next time comes so where is the time the time is here which is after the 12th november the next time is this in between there is no time in between there is no time so this is based on the past working and whatever i am telling now you know uh, the first will be high eighth will be down and uh, possible move again this one this is the minor cycle this is the minor cycle but it will try to go and adjust with the bigger cycle this is a bigger cycle and what i am writing in my pdf it is all bigger cycle it is all bigger cycle not the uh, you know uh, normal cycle whatever i am giving for the entire 2024 i am giving for nifty bank nifty all the major indices across the world including dow jones uh, you know uh, nasdaq s&p uh, crypto gold silver uh, and all the fndo stocks all the fndo stocks 184 stocks Uh, i am giving in that i am i will clearly mention how it it will be you know if you go to my uh, whatsapp group so today we shared how it looks uh, you know uh, in the pdf uh, i don't know where i kept it i don't know where i kept it yeah so it should be like this it should be like this okay so now you can use these dates so where it will make a low where it will make a high on which date it will make a high which date it will make a low which date it will make a high which date it will make a low which date it will make a high which date it will make a low for the entire 2024 because i today i published this only gujarat gas since we are trading uh, gujarat gas so uh, then i said when the next low will happen the next low will happen here so like this for the entire 184 companies you will have the dates where it will make a high where it will make a low For 184 companies plus more than nine uh, major indices across the world, uh, when it comes to Nifty, uh, our indices, all the major indices are covered: Nifty, Bank Nifty, Fin Nifty, and uh, mid cap and small cap. And when it comes to U.S. market, uh, Nasdaq, Dow Jones, and S&P was covered. And when it comes to commodity, gold and silver was covered, and one uh, Bitcoin was covered. Totally, I covered roughly around 11, eleven uh, uh, indices. and 184 stocks of fndo and uh, all the astro major events which is going to happen in 2024 the complete dates will be given in that uh, book so let's see uh, praying god uh, it should do well uh, you know uh, successfully whether you know i am not i am not eager for the subscription i am actually praying for the date which i am mentioning there it should work in 2024 that's my humble humble request to market and you are going to know how it is going to work on december 21st 31st 2024 and again i will do a webinar to see how whether it worked or not where it went wrong everything will be shown touch wood it will not happen by god grace hoping for the best so thanks a lot again saying i am not a sebi registered investment advisor so kindly do your homework or consult your financial advisors before taking any financial decision See you soon tomorrow with the magical number of uh, Nifty and uh, Bank Nifty. In case if there is any timing, but again, Nifty and Bank Nifty is not at all looking good because it is not able to close above the daily future number, which is the expiry future number, which is twenty one seven hundred and twenty. And I think for Bank Nifty, it is forty eight thousand. Uh, I think three hundred eighty four or something like that. Uh, for Bank Nifty, it is ah uh, forty eight thousand. Four not nine. So till the time it is not closing on a daily basis, not closing. It may go and touch, come back, all that not you know condition here. It should close above that date high. Till it is not closing above that number, there is no question of going long in this market. You play. Uh, no, this is the time for us to make money when it comes to stocks, not in indices. Last seven days, nothing was happened. and again today also it is literally literally screwing you know both sides no movement at all so wait for it maybe i think uh, the next date is coming on i think on uh, 13th of january so let's go and see 
what's going to happen. But predominant thing is here. This is the predominant date which we need to watch out for. Major astro event is happening on that day, 20th June, sorry, 20th Jan. Uh, let's go and watch on that day. Okay. So until then, uh, goodbye for now. See you tomorrow. Bye.